Hi guys, in this video I will take you through basics of composite materials. Before we go through the video, another important action is please subscribe to my channel to get further updates on my videos. Also please suggest your friends. This video covers some basic details about composite materials. That includes what are the different types of materials, how do we define composite material, what are the different constituents or phases of composite materials? Which are the industries who are using these composite materials widely and applications of composite materials? At the end, we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages of composite materials. To start with, we will see different type of materials. Based on chemical makeup, or atomic structure, solid materials have been classified into three types. The first one is metals and the second one is ceramics and third type is polymers. In addition to above categories, there are composites which are combinations of two or more from above listed categories. Quickly we will discuss what are different types of materials that is metals, ceramic and polymers. When we see metals they are composed of one or more metallic elements such as iron, aluminum, copper etc. Often non-metallic elements such as carbon, nitrogen etc. will be present in small amount. If we see ceramic, it compounds between metallic and non-metallic elements. Most frequently, they are oxides, nitrides, silicon and so on. Finally, polymers includes plastic and rubber materials. Many of these are organic compounds that are chemically based on hydrogen, carbon and other non-metallic elements. Now let us discuss about our main topic that is composite materials. If we want to define a composite material, we will see many definitions in different book and in internet. Here I have listed couple of them. You can pick whichever you want or you are comfortable. In summary, composite material is a material system that consists of two or more different materials whose properties are different and they are insoluble in each other. The combined form will have superior properties and performance when compared individually. Best example of composite material which we can understand easily is concrete roof of a building. It has a mixture of cement, sand and iron rods which are aligned in different directions. All these mixes together form a composite material. If we see the definition, there are few keywords such as insoluble, different chemical composition and so on. Iron rods, sand and cement, all these are insoluble. and their chemical composition is different. Also, when we see properties such as strength of individual constituents, it is different when we compare to strength of concrete. If you see the iron rod alignment during the construction of roof, we will observe that these are in different direction. That means composite material properties changes based on constituents alignment and properties of each constituent. Let us see the different constituents or phases of composite material. Composite material will have reinforced fibers as a first constituents which are discontinuous stronger and stiffer constituent of composite materials. 
fibers are important constituent of composite and these are load carrying members too example of fiber in case of concrete roof is iron rods these iron rods are main load carrying members and these are stiffer and stronger second constituent is matrix it is continuous stiff and comparatively weaker face of composite material its function is to surround the fibers and to locate the fibers at the required position and orientation also it acts as a medium by which the loads are transferred through the fibers by means of shear stress additionally matrix protects the fibers from environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity example of matrix is sand in case of concrete roof third constituent is interfaces or coupling agents these facilitate the bonding between fibers and matrix example is cement in case of concrete roof this cement binds the sand and iron rods last constituent is coating and fillers coatings are applied to fibers to improve their weighting with matrix fillers are used to reduce the cost and to achieve better dimensional stability maybe stones that are used in concrete roof can be considered as a fillers coming to applications of composite materials composite materials are widely used in most of the industries such as aerospace automotive marine industry energy infrastructure biomedical and so on in aerospace industry leading aircraft manufacturers uses these composite materials for most of the fuselage components example airbus product a350 and boeing products 787 uses composites for most of the parts in automotive industry composite materials are used in parts like car dashboard door panels and so on mostly manufacturer uses these composite materials to make it lightweight fuel efficient with better load carrying capability now let us see the advantages of composite materials it has high strength that is high load carrying capability high stiffness that is extent to which an object resist deformation in response to applied load long fatigue life that is material strength during cyclic loading it has low density and its adaptability to intended function that is achieving required properties based on the loading direction and other requirements composites are corrosion resistant and wear resistant also composites has temperature dependent behavior and environmental stability the superior structural performance of composite is due to high specific strength that is strength to density ratio and high specific stiffness that is modulus to density ratio due to so many added advantages compared to other materials composites are being used widely in most of the industries coming to limitations these composite materials are difficult to design to get the required properties and performance also optimization is difficult process it has complex fabrication process its maintenance cost is also high that is all folks on brief discussion of composite materials if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to get further updates on my channel also share your comments that will help me to 
improve the quality and quantity of the contents in upcoming videos. Thank you.